Hello, beautiful people. Let me put you guys. It is a very gloomy, gloomy day. A very, very gloomy day. Let me actually see if I can move my ring light. I have not done a weekly vlog in about. A week. I think actually, I think it's been two weeks. Reason being, sorry, you can hear Puzzle Man in the background. I just haven't been in the mood, if I'm totally being honest with you. I think I really underestimated how much this whole, um, my hair looks really weird. Like, I feel like the sides are sticking out and I don't understand why. To be fair, um, I actually need to do something with my hair right now because I'm actually going to film a Zara haul. So I ordered some things from Zara. Um, actually, I've been ordering a few things here and there from Zara and I've accumulated... I've accumulated enough stuff to do a haul. This is not the time to be buying new clothes. We don't know when we're gonna be out of our houses soon. We don't even know when we're gonna be able to be out of this country soon, so I wouldn't recommend. And we are actually contributing to the economy by still buying things. But essentially, there's been a few things in Zara that I've had my eye on, so I've just ordered enough stuff and thought, oh, let me do a haul, because some of you guys want to see it. But um, yeah, so I didn't vlog for about two weeks, simply because I underestimated how this whole situation is sort of affecting me mentally. And also, when you're quarantining with a whole lot of people it's not easy to be fair i did actually vlog one week but i looked back at the footage and i thought i'm not enjoying editing this so i don't think you guys will enjoy watching it so i thought right i'm gonna scrap that week and we're starting again so today is actually saturday it's the weekend and i have a few things i need to get done this weekend but yeah so i am going to do a zara haul i'm trying to figure out one if i want to wear eyelashes and two what the hell i'm gonna do with my hair because i really can't be bothered to put on a wig like i might just stay like this but i definitely need to brush it because right now this is literally like i've woken up showered took my headscarf off and i haven't brushed my hair or anything this is fresh from the headscarf i'm definitely gonna put on lashes yeah i'm gonna put on lashes because practice makes perfect and i'm trying to get my time down for um putting lashes on to at least one minute oh, hold on no no that's not feasible um okay let's say two to three minutes each so six minutes altogether, or even faster to be fair five minutes altogether. and it is also ramadan now so ramadan mubarak to everyone out there i hope that ramadan is going well for you guys so far and i think the fact that it is Ramadan sort of like ignited that spark back into me like you said you're gonna do this continue doing it now as well work has slowed down a lot which is good because I realized when I first started this I wanted to show you guys like what I'm doing at work but because of the nature of my job it's kind of hard to show you guys just because of like all the confidentiality things that we have to adhere to but now that it's slowed down a bit I actually have time to edit all the extra content that I have so what I've said to myself is I don't know when this video is gonna come up but what I've said is I'm gonna try and do a Ramadan by daily and I was actually inspired by Aisha I think I've mentioned her before on my YouTube I've definitely mis mentioned her on my Instagram but um, I remember I she does Ramadan dailies and I actually started watching her Ramadan daily series about um, I think two years ago and they're just so entertaining and I really really like them so I thought right I'm gonna do by daily all the videos aren't going to be centered around Ramadan it's just I have so much content that I filmed but I haven't edited but I think you guys will still enjoy so I'm gonna try and upload every other day. I don't know if I'd be able to upload every day. I'm being honest with myself, I know myself. Upload every day. Some of the videos I need to edit are gonna take a day to edit just because of how much footage I have. So I think by daily would work. Um, by the time this video is up, comment down below and tell me how I'm doing because I might put this up and it's like, Michelle, you've only uploaded like twice. But by the time this video is up, I should be uploading at least twice a week. And that just brings like a sense of peace and calmness around us. I know this year it's quite difficult because it's just so different. Um, as Muslims, like Islam is such a, we come together for iftar, we break bread together, Eid is like a big celebration. Also in Ramadan, in uh, my culture, some people uh, might make you make food for each other as like gifts for iftar and stuff like that whereas now um you can't do that boris said stay in your house if your friends ask you to go out don't go i have to figure out what lashes i should wear and i'm conflicted because do i want to go definitely want to go subtle i've realized you know what i like cat eye eyelashes the ones where they're shorter hair and go a bit longer and i like them to be wispy as well i might wear these lashes here um, if it focuses, I might wear these lashes here. Okay, so we finally managed to get one that has taken me well over five minutes just to do one. Okay, so I've managed to put the eyelashes on, but I don't know. I feel I feel like they look a bit weird 
Yeah, I feel like they look a bit weird. They're not as like... The best eyelashes I have used so far are the ones that Lake used for me on my bridal trial. Um, yeah, I need to find where she got those lashes from. But I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair because... Oh, by the way, I've got my ring light here because usually I like to use natural light. But it's literally 12 o'clock, but the sky is so gloomy. I don't know whether I want to leave my scarf like this or just... Um, put it up on the other side i actually like it like this because i've got this thing here but it looks nice here but i don't know if it's gonna look weird on there hold on i did not gel my edges for them not to be seen actually do you know what it might just be a bit weird because also if i do it here no i like it like that a few moments later let me go and wash this off i'm gonna take this turban off i can take it off now and get rid of this struggle bun i am gonna go back to my high top bun oh my god my ends i feel like my ends really need a trim i might try and trim them myself not even try i usually do you know what i usually do trim them myself but last year i started going to ebony b hair salon and i would get hair treatments there um quarterly so like three times a year and um yeah so i actually haven't trimmed my own edges in a while but I was due a trip there maybe like a month ago in April, beginning of April, and obviously we can't go nowhere, so I might just try and do it myself. You make me wonder, honey, honey, do get... Oh, actually, let me just say something, yeah. I have not shamed, shamed, I have not shaved my underarms in about since this whole quarantine thing started, so I feel like we should start normalising underarm hair for women because I ain't got nowhere to go. I'm not going to shave my underarms, and also I was getting laser, but obviously I haven't been able to get any laser treatment so right now it's just it's a lot of hair so if I slip off like when I was doing my hair tutorial for the um Chinese rope top bun there's a clip in there where I basically I was doing this and I didn't realize my dress I think it was actually this one I was wearing it it actually slipped a bit so you could see my whole hairy armpit and I was like mm. I had to crop the video a certain way you guys aren't able able to see it and I feel like I'm having to do that again now so yeah if you see a bit of underarm hair listen it's natural we're in quarantine right now there's no time I got nowhere to go why am I shaving my armpits I mean I'm not gonna like expose my unshaved armpits to the internet like just per pow but if I slip off if I slip up English if I slip up here and there and you might just see a little mm, man your business okay I'm gonna go and wash okay so this is my little house of CV box of the goodies I got I only got two things um because there was a point where they were doing 15% off but I actually haven't tried these on but their return time now is eight weeks because of everything that's happening right now I actually have a whole stack of house of CB disregard that I still need to finish painting that but we'll get to that next week i mean i actually have a stack of house of cd boxes there's even one outside my room this is what the skirt looks like i'm a bit bloated from iftar but yeah this is what the skirt looks like and i absolutely love it i absolutely love it. it's actually a bit tight compared to when i tried it on in the store but i'm also very much aware that i have actually gained a bit of weight what is this what the hell is that oh okay it's the little string thing i thought it might have that would have been annoying but yeah this is how it looks and um yeah i really like it it's mini as well i don't have a lot of mini skirts i'm here for this little ruffle detailing on the bottom okay so the top does not fit at all um i'm showing you guys on this mirror but yeah the top the top doesn't fit at all like the whole i haven't been able to zip it so like the whole back is gone um but yeah, I'm definitely going to have to size up on this. I even brought my little sister in to try and help me get it on. But literally, it just... It's <laughs> its too small. <laughs> this little boy has woken up. And sad as I'm, so, I'm really craving chocolate, so I sort of burnt it a bit. But... <laughs> basically put chocolate and butter in the pita bread i put this um this cadbury milk chocolate spread if it will focus yeah i put this in it just because i'm really craving chocolate but there's no chocolate in the whole house because i've said i'm on a chocolate detox and my mom has hit the chocolate so this is my substitute i put myself on a chocolate detox because after my wedding i was just eating chocolate like there's no tomorrow this is the soup um it's just a lentil soup i'm just gonna have that and some pita bread. Pray for her and go to sleep.
basically I need to find somewhere for these boxes to go these boxes actually hold my wigs um, I'm just gonna open this one so this is this is actually my short um, pixie wig see I don't know I like keeping my wigs in boxes I just think it works out a bit better just because I don't actually wear wigs on a daily basis so I know a lot of people have them on display for me it works better in boxes because if they are on display it just means they're gonna be on display for a long time and sometimes they um they'll gather dust at like the top of the wig but I just want to do something with them because they literally just live in this little corner here but every time I need to get into this drawer I literally have to pick all of this up and like move it or just move it to the side this is a really good way to like store your wigs or your hair like this box is from London Virgin um, hair because I've bought some hair from them before so I've literally just kept the box put a wig in there I also have um, a box from Irresistible Me I think they sent me hair like years ago boxes from Old Polly I've only um, ordered from Old Polly twice but the boxes from Old Polly are actually the best because and this has what wig is this oh this has my um highlighted wig i'm just gonna put it to the side but the boxes are, from old poly are really good because they have this um i don't know if you can see it it's like a sheen so it's kind of like it's not a satin finish but it's sort of like it's just soft basically rather than the kind of rough one of this even inside this is kind of soft but basically what i'm trying to say is that the boxes from old poly are literally like the most um amazing things <laughs> To keep your wig so if you order from opoly or even if you just want to order from opoly and then return the stuff just to get the boxes um i would i want to spruce them up a bit i might do you know what i might actually diy them and um i even have a box from Mi mistress rocks and um, that has a wig inside of it and this this is not even all my wigs these are just like the main main I would say these are like these are the creme de la creme of the wigs. Some of the wigs I actually have under my bed. Some are in the bag in the cupboard. Yeah, these are like the creme de la creme of the wigs. Like my fave wigs are all in these boxes. But I might actually, I don't know, I might get some some of that like sticky tape thing and just just make them look a bit more presentable. So maybe they can be like a um a fixture in the room rather than just a stack of boxes maybe they can be a fixture like over here oh i ordered something from asos i'll actually show you guys quickly and um, but yeah maybe like a fixture over here i don't know like maybe some marble tape i've seen a lot of people use it to diy like their desk and stuff i'm just gonna put them on my chair for now i just wanted to put this away but anytime i want to um, put anything in here i have to move all of this even this i want to switch up while everyone's quarantining and not spending a lot of money what michelle has been doing is i was on depop and i saw this girl that was selling these um ysl makeup bags and they're basically like makeup bags that you get for free when you buy ysl um makeup products i actually already have two that um so they usually come in a gift set and i'm just using them to put some makeup in like any new makeup that i buy that i haven't used i put in here they're just so sleek like i just love it and obviously i disinfected them and everything and they were actually new and never been used before when i bought them from the seller and the ones that i have so these are mine this actually has nothing in it but um i basically got them when i bought like a lot of ysl makeup from boots when i found these two i bought them finally got around to washing my um makeup brushes <laughs> to be fair i actually have been using them because i haven't been filming we ain't got nowhere to go right now um but yeah i'm just so happy clean makeup brushes make me happy but the cleaning process of makeup brushes doesn't make me happy and also just a little tip for my ladies who are working women i got these little brushes from so these are real techniques and these are from kiko and this is from number seven boots but they are really really good for if you're doing your makeup on the go or like on the train i'm notorious for doing my makeup on the train the few occasions i actually do my makeup for work and it's just it's so much easier and a lot more compact kiko ones actually come with a case one second actually let me find it the kiko ones actually came in this really cute case and it, they're just really good for i i haven't tried the kiko ones out yet i've tried the number sevens the number sevens also came um in this really cute case as well and the real techniques ones didn't because i actually bought them individually but um yeah i just think they're really good for if you're a working woman as i mentioned previously i ordered a few things from ezos a while ago so i have asos prime um this is the first year i've ever actually signed up for asos prime but it's actually very beneficial because for a long while i thought that asos was sort of losing their spark a bit because some of their clothing items just weren't speaking to me but the beginning of this year i feel like they've been coming out with some amazing amazing stuff so i signed up for prime but i say all of that to say basically this took about a week not a week mm, about five working days to come usually prime comes the next day if you order before 11 but obviously because of the current situation so basically i got 
got a lot of hair bands um last year hair bands were like really really in and whilst i really really like them i just thought some of the price points for some of the hair bands were like completely ridiculous i'm not spending 30 pounds on a hair band but asos actually um put a lot of their hair bands on sale for like two pounds three pounds so i literally snagged up um some of them oh this is nice so i got this neon one this is not gonna go with my hair right now but oh i do like it like i just have some hairstyles that i feel like i want to do and i think they'll look really cute with um hair bands i remember when i was younger when i was in like secondary school yeah 10 year 11 I used to bang out hairbands. If I can find an old picture of myself, I don't know if I can, but if I can. I used to bang out hair bands, maybe like a fringe or hair bands and a quiff. I would curl my hair. Oh my God. I heat damaged my hair so much. Just from, I would curl my hair every day. Yeah, it was crazy. But um, yeah, I got some hair bands. So I got this pink one. I also got, oh, this is nice. I got this hair band as well. Oh, I like it. And they're very soft. Oh, 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 sorry. Ooh. This this one was the main reason why I even ordered the rest of them. So this one was the one that I've been eyeing for a while and I just didn't want to pay the full price and then it went in on sale. But it looks a bit like a crown. Like I said, these do not, they absolutely do not go with my um hair. I've just got my hair tied up at all. This is my fave. The last one I got was this one here, which is just like a pinky nude and just has some pearls and rhinestones. Hi guys. <laughs> I feel like I look really tired, but that's probably because I feel tired. I also don't want to sleep because it's only, what's the time? It's only 10 past 10. I've literally just prayed and I'm still on the floor. <laughs> but actually, I forgot to mention, I got this package from Nasty Gal. I don't know why I call it Nasty Gal, but I feel like that's how it's meant to be pronounced because I think it's made by a company up north. And I opened it and I was about to try out some of the dresses and I was like, no, this might be a good time to actually show you guys. And it also means that I should get my ass up off this floor because all I've done is pray. Wrapped my prayer mat. I was watching this thing on Netflix. It's called The Last Kingdom. When my husband was here, he was actually watching this like medieval type show. And I was like, Tim, what are you watching? And I remember he said its name and um, I didn't remember its name, but then this came off my Netflix. And this is my type of movie. Like I love gladiator type movies where it's old or medieval, where there's basically a lot of fighting with swords and stuff. I don't know why. I just like that sort of movie because it's like, it's violent but then there's always like a little um love scene like the main guy will always have like a love interest and then how they call each other lords and ladies and there's always some sort of witch or a seer and yeah it's a really really good series but basically i told him i was watching the last kingdom and he said that's what i was watching when i was with you last time and i thought duh so it has four seasons and i am on season three this is episode five season three i've literally been um going through all the seasons throughout the week so what we've agreed is that i'm gonna finish season three and season four just came out and he hasn't watched season four so when we're finally reunited inshallah we're actually gonna watch season four together let me get my ass up off do you know what whenever my mom sees me in a new labaya or kaftan she's like oh mm, i think that would look nice on me and i'm like mother relax i'm gonna place you guys here this is like the background you guys usually see in my trial halls obviously i take all of this out this is behind the scenes so you're gonna see it oh yeah that's better although you guys are very high okay now you guys are a bit lower down you can see um this <laughs> little thing there right okay so i ordered two dresses from nasty gal i don't know why i say it like that nasty girl nasty gal um comment in the comment section below and let me know how you pronounce it but um yeah i got two dresses because I've seen so many people like order from there and get like really nice dresses so I thought let me see I want to order a few for my holidays even though I don't know when I'm going on holiday but you know this is not what I ordered why is this a maxi dress as in this is legit a maxi hold on this this is not what I ordered Okay, so I'm going to put a picture of the dress I ordered here. This is a maxi dress. I don't understand. I, oh. I'm going to try it on, but I'm very much confused right now. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, this is a maxi dress and it's actually like ridiculously long. But the dress I ordered is actually a mini dress. So, so I was a bit confused. 
but I realise um, it has strings on the side so I think what I have to do is pull the strings and then it becomes a mini um, so yeah I think you just pull it and then obviously it gets shorter um, This is not flattering at all. So you have these long strings and I guess you um, pull them up and then um, and then it gets shorter but this is not flattering and this look nothing like the picture, absolutely nothing. It is doing nothing for my body so this is definitely going back because I'm just um, yeah I'm confused. Also I've just noticed I actually ordered a size 10 but they've sent me a size 12 which is annoying which is probably why it seemed a bit big as well but regardless um yeah this is going back. I'm gonna try the second one. So I also got this nude midi dress but I thought it'd be a lot looser it's a bit um tight it's nice but yeah it's just a bit tight and it's just doing like absolutely nothing for me. The material is just a bit like flimsy so so this has been a bit of a fail on the um nasty gal haul i'm so upset because i actually really like this but um, yeah and it's making me look very boxy as well and i don't understand why so yeah i think i'm gonna send both of them back because this this natty